Hey guys, I got some more stuff in today. I still haven't updated my channel yet. Um, I have about six or seven videos just waiting to be uploaded. Um, today, um, I have a, some very minor parts here that is gonna, they're gonna possibly increase the longevity of my uh, belt tensioner um, and weight reduction. So hopefully this is gonna help me reduce belt slip at a uh, high RPM when the car is shifting. And uh, just also being able to um, prevent me from stripping bolts. So today I'm gonna do a small modification that probably won't negate too much power gains, but every little bit matters. So all right guys, I'm gonna take you inside and show you what I got here. Show you what's in these uh, packages I got. So the first one is gonna be this very slight minor mod. And you're gonna understand why I did it once I post the other um, video on the pulley installation. But I'll give you a quick overview. So there's been guys that have been stripping their bolts when they try to put on a smaller pulley. And me, I don't ever wanna end up with that issue because I did strip one of the bolts as I was trying to remove it. So today what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna repa replace those, uh, those pulley bolts with some titanium pulley bolts. And as we all know, titanium's a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna reduce the rotational mass. And being that the supercharger spins at almost 20,000 RPM, I think that's gonna equ equate to uh, some improved performance and response. So we're gonna find out because I'm gonna install one part at a time. So that way I know for sure that it's actually benefiting a, ve a vehicle. Guys, I'm back again. I just installed those titanium um, screws into my smaller supercharger pulley, and I definitely noticed the difference, right? Right away, and there's only a 0.4 ounce difference, and I noticed it. And guess what also came in today on the same day that I decided to install the uh, titanium bolts? Take a look at this. I got my Canon air filter. Now, I'm not going to install it because I've had a bad experience with... Uh, you know, oiled air filters. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna strip the oil off of it. I know that's gonna reduce the filtration, um, but from my past experience with the uh, oiled air filters, with the oil getting on the math and stuff like that, I don't wanna deal with it. Um, and I get like when you know you, and you there's a correlation between filtration and airflow. Um, out of the, the other two filters that I have, I have a Wix air filter. That is probably the best filtering air filter I have. But also with that, there's a reduction in airflow. When I put the OEM paper air filter back in, it definitely flowed more, but I know that's due to the lack of filtration. And being that this is a K&N and it's supposed to have higher flow, um, it's gonna have even less filtration. And by me removing the oil, it's gonna be even worse. But I don't plan on just, you know, having this in all the time, just when I wanna go fast. It's a two minute switch out, not even 30 seconds to switch this thing out. Um, but the but what I'm gonna do is before I install it, I'm gonna let this soak in some distilled water uh, with some dish liquid or something to remove grease. Uh, because if you look at it right now, there's like, there's like oil in the package, you can kind of see it. I don't want any chance of that getting on my math, especially since I am forced induction now, so it's sucking a lot harder. There's, so there's a higher chance that oil will end up on my math. So I'm gonna remove the oil off of it and you know, increase my risk of you know getting dirt getting into the engine, which that is what's gonna happen when you have a high flow filter. You're gonna have to make sacrifices if you want the filtration or if you want the extra airflow. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and you know soak that overnight and let it dry out, and hopefully tomorrow. I can give you a review on if it's worth it to get a can in for the increased airflow. I think it will be. Um, also, you know, like 
the surface area of this is technically less because on the paper filter, the, all the surface area, there's particles of the air can pass through it. On this k and there's this wire mesh um, on top of the filtering, um, you know, whatever material they use for the filter, the gauze or whatever, there's a, you know, mesh to keep it in place. And that actually reduces your overall surface area for, you know, air to flow through. But because this thing doesn't filter all that great anyways, I'm hoping that is neg negligible. I can't even speak right now. Uh, hopefully, you know, that doesn't reduce our overall airflow by having the wire mesh. Um, I did research. I tried to find other air filters for this um, fourth gen Mazda 3, which is also the same filter that's in the CX-30 and the turbo models. So I found, besides all the paper variants that they have, Wix being the best filtering out of all of them, um, for performance, there was like Piper, like Piper Cross, um, I saw some reviews on that. That's a foam filter. And I saw some reviews on that about them coming apart. Um, and I don't want to risk the filter coming apart from the, the wire mesh they have. So that one I X'd it off because I've seen too many bad reviews. The one that I originally ordered, um, it just takes too long to come in. It's from um, like Europe. It's called the uh, BMC filters. And there's a lot of comparisons between that and k and just the quality of the filter. And I guess it's better and you get more surface area on a, B, a, B, a BMC. But because I ordered it and it took like two or three weeks and I still didn't get it, I just canceled the order. And I just said, screw it. If the k and is actually cheaper, the BMC is like $20 more. Um, the k and is 60 So I was just like, you know what? If the k and is cheaper and it doesn't perform better than the OEM one, then there's no point in me getting the BMC because it probably won't even help at all. So, but if this Canon does perform better eventually in the future, and when I have a little bit more money, I want to get the BMC because that seems to have the best results. And I'll, and it's also oiled just like the, the Canon. So I'll have to strip the oil on that one too. All right, guys, um, tomorrow I'll give you an update after I, you know, let this soak and get the oil off of it put it in the car and see what performance gains we get guys i'm going to look at my uh, overall gs flow um through mazda edit all right later guys